Pre-calculus, the 23rd. Uh, 22nd. Uh, let's see, pre-calculus, page 386. And these problems are going to be chapter 5.6, 1 through 7 odd. Let's start. Number 1, 3 dx is equal to 81. Well, to solve this, we want to change it into the logarithmic formula, right? So we're going to go from base to logarithms, right? So we need to know the base, the exponent, right? And the number. So the log base 3, right? Of the number 81 is equal to the exponent x. Wow. Cool. He's on fire. Amazing what he can do with the glasses. It's a whole new world. Whole new world. X to the what? That's x. Alright. So there we go. Uh, so I say three x. Huh? It does. 3 to the x. 3 to the x equals 81. So log base 3 of 81. And then, I mean, the way I would solve this is I'd say 3 to what power is 81? Well, I can figure that out. That's pretty simple. x is 4, right? Uh, because 3 to the 4th power would be 81. 3 squared is 9 times 3 would be 27 times 3 would be 81. Um, so this one's pretty easy. But to plug it in your calculator, we do that little under the gun trick. Oh man, that's bad. What? It is on fire. It's two. Log base three. So how this would look is log 81 divided by log three. And that should equal a 4 in your calculator. Simple. Pretty easy? Mm. Alright, let's do the next one. This one. Not so much, much a logarithm. You know, because once you have exponents on both sides of the, the equation, we need to start looking at a different way of solving this. And the different way of solving it is making some like terms. What's really like here is I know that this is a 3 raised to the x plus 1, right? And I know that this is a 3 raised to the second power. That's what 9 is, right? Raised to the 5x. Okay? Well, th that means is, is I got 3 raised to the x plus 1 equals 3 raised to the 5 times 2, which would be 10x. Okay? So, the nice and easy part about this is that then the bases are the same, so now I can set the exponents equal to each other. x plus 1 is equal to 10x. Okay? And so subtract x, subtract x, 1 is equal to 9x. And divide by 9, divide by 9, and x is equal to 1, 9. Voila! No? What? Where'd you get lost? That one's easy. <coughs> so you just divided by three? Yeah, one night. Huh? How did you get them to go together? Go which ones to go together? These ones? No. Yeah, I did you just divide nine by three? Well, I just said, hey, nine is three squared, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Right? So I just I just substituted in three squared for nine. Okay. And then I, I said, well, that's raised to the power of 5x, right? And, well, then it's a power of a power, right? And what do we do with exponents? Power of a power, you multiply powers, right? And so that's why it's 5 times 2, okay? So this is just 5 times 2, which is 10. And since this is 3 to the x plus 1, and this is 3 to the 10x, right? Then... They have to be the same, right? And the threes are the same. 
So the only thing that's changing is the exponent, right? So I can actually set these two equal, each, equal to each other, and then use basic algebra to solve for x. Neil? So far? How about you? Better? No. Anita? Okay, then follow me through on this next one and see if you guys can, can, can feel what I'm putting down. All right? What, how can we rewrite 9 in terms of 3? How would I rewrite a 9 in terms of 3? It'd be 3 squared again. 3 squared again, perfect. So I have 3 to the 5x, right? Yes. Times 3 squared to the x squared, right? And then how would I rewrite 27 in terms of 3? 3 cubed? 3 cubed. Nice. I'm on fire too, Dan. You are on fire! <laughs> All right, now, how will I write this power of a power? What do we do with the power of a power? You multiply them. You multiply them. So that's just, bam, so that's just 3 to the 2x squared, right? Is equal to 3, 3, right? And then we have 3 to the 5x. What do I do with two powers that have the same base? When I multiply them, what do I do to their exponents? Yeah. That's right. Okay. So, this would be 3 to the 5x plus 2x squared equals 3 to the third, right? So what do you do? 3 to the 5x. What do you mean, what do I do? Oh, add it then. Oh, okay. Right? Now, I could write that 2x squared plus 5x, right? That'd be fair. I just can't say it's too... Too small? So let me make it a little bigger. 5x plus 2x squared equals 3. What I did there is I just got rid of the bases. The bases are the same. So all I care about are the exponents. Okay? Now, with that said, could I subtract 3 from both sides? And can I reorganize this so I have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0? Right? So all I did was rearrange this. Brought it over. And now what are we going to do? We're going to... Da, 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 five step method. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. 2x, 2x, right? Bring down the sign. This tells me that they are different. What's my product? What's my sum? The product is 2 times 3, which is 6. The sum is 5. We are subtracting in the sum. So two things that multiply to be 6, but they subtract to be 5. Bingo, correct mundo. That would be three and two, All right? But then we got to take out the star, right? And the star is a two. So I'm going to pull out a two and a one, and so I get two x plus three, right? Times x minus one equals zero, and I set both of these equal to zero. 2x plus 3 equals 0, x minus 1 equals 0, solve, x equals negative 3 over 2, right? And this one is x equals 1. And so x equals negative 3 over 2 and 1. Easy peasy, deaf and easy. Maybe I should make that a little bigger. 
Yeah? We'll do the next one a little bigger up here. Let's see. All right, it's still recording. It's going to die on me, but let's see if we can make it to the end. All right, this last problem. Can you read it to me real quick? Number nine, I think. Number no, seven. No, seven. Can you read that to me? 9x squared equals 3, negative 5x minus 2. 9 raised to the x squared yep. is equal to 3, negative 5x. Raised to the negative 5x, that's it? Minus 2. Minus 2. Yeah, I thought it was something else. Okay, now this one. Can you give me another way of writing 9? 3. In terms of 3? 3 squared. Yeah. So 3 squared raised to the x squared, right, is equal to 3 raised to the negative 5x minus 2, okay? Shouldn't write it so small. I was saying I was going to write it big. 3 squared raised to the x squared, right, is equal to 3 raised to the negative 5x minus 2. Okay. Uh oh. A little farther away. Oh, that was in though. Oh. You did the bounces out of time. It was so very close. close. Alright. So then I multiply these two, right? Yep. So I have 3 raised to the 2x squared is equal to 3 raised to the 5, negative 5x five minus 2. Are you seeing this? Juanita, drop the bases. Right, Juanita? The name's not fucking Juanita. Juanita. Alright. 2x <coughs> squared is equal to negative 5x minus 2. Right? When you exactly drop, I don't see a base. The base 3. We just got rid of these. Bam! Wait, why are the three still living? Huh? They're not. They got rid of them. There you go. Then why do you... So once you have the base is the same, once this base... They just cancel out. ...are the same, we don't care about them anymore. Once you have a base equal to another base raised to some power, all we care about is the power. Yeah. Maybe we should cross the or something. Okay. Better? Okay. All right. So then we come to this, and now it's just basic algebra. I'm going to add 5x, add 2, add 5x, add 2. So I get 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals 0. And now we're back to, uh-oh, can you do it? It's a little far. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Say you're wrong. And you know. I'm getting too far away. All right, so we've got parentheses, 2x, 2x. We're going to bring down that plus. This tells me that they're the same, right? The product is 4. The sum is 5. Two things that multiplied to be 4, but they add to be 5. That would be 4 and 1, right? But my star is a what? Two. Two. So I need to take out a two and a one, right? So I'll take the two out of this side and the one out of this side. Okay? And so x plus two times two x plus one equals zero. And then I set each one in equal to zero. x plus two equals 0, 2x plus 1 equals 0, x equals negative 2, x equals, and remember, it's just the opposite of this, negative 1, over this, over 2. Okay? Simple. So x is equal to the lowest number, negative 2, negative 
one half. Yeah. That's it. Number seven.